Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Again, just like last video, I just woke up, so I'm sorry if uh, my voice sounds a little bit cracky or rusty. I'll just do the tutorial because I'm kind of hyped for this tutorial. Today, I want to explain how text animators work. And with that, I also want to give you five animations. I'm just going to explain these um, like top five most used animations. They're not necessarily my favorite, but I do see these presets and these type of animations uh, being used really often. So yeah, that's why I'm going to explain them. I'm going to the first uh, text preset that's text preset one there we go and as you can see it's just a simple scale up for each letter here i have the normal text and then a second layer of text where uh, the eye button is like toggled so it's not visible so i'm gonna turn off this one and turn on this one and as you can see there's no animation right now so we're gonna click on this arrow key and we're gonna go to animate and we're gonna click on scale because we want to animate the scale animation for uh, each letter so we're gonna click on this arrow we're gonna go to animate and we're gonna click on scale because we want to animate the scale for each uh, letter so what you basically want to do is the range selector basically um animates text or, or letters from point a to point b so point a is always skill is zero because we want um point a to be like zero skill and then point b once it's animated it should be at a hundred skill so normal so i'm gonna set this to zero right now i'm gonna click on this and then we're gonna click on advance basically what you want to do is you want to have it a ramp up animation so if i mess with the offset right now we have a very nice ramp up animation and you can always mess around with the square but what the square will do is as you can see it will do each letter separately but we want them all together so we choose for ramp up so we're gonna go to minus 100 on the offset i'm gonna play a keyframe at zero seconds and then we're gonna go to uh like one minute and i'm gonna set it to a hundred if we preview this that already looks pretty decent but it still feels a little bit stiff so what we're gonna do we're gonna mess around with the easy high and the ease low settings i'm gonna set this one to 100 and this one to 50 and if we preview this right now as you can see they're almost identical the only thing that i changed here is that i easy eased it but that's not really necessary because there's already easy easing on the animator part so i'm gonna go to the second preset right now and as you can see this is like a 3d zoom ish i already made a tutorial about this a while ago but i'll explain it again this one is really simple basically what you want to do is you want to click on this arrow again animate and make sure you enable per 3d character so if that's not enabled just go here and click on that um, it basically turns each character into a 3d object which you can also um, move in the z axis i'm gonna go to animate and we're gonna go to position i'm gonna set the position to minus two six 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 comma six 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 seven that's basically just behind the screen I'm gonna click down here on the range selector and again on advanced and we again want to set it to ramp up i'm gonna set a keyframe for minus 100 i'm gonna move along a second and set it to 100 as you can see that's super smooth looks really good already but still it's a bit stiff so again we want to mess around with these settings i like my 50 and 100 so as you can see that's so clean i really like it i'm really happy with what we made so far I'm gonna move on to the third pre the text preset this is just a really simple slide up with an opacity fade gonna go to this one click here and we're gonna animate the position and in the same animator that's really important that you select animator and not go to animate you want to go to add and you want to add a property and you want to click on opacity and we're going to set the opacity to zero and we're going to set the position a little bit down to like let's say 120 or something I'm gonna go to beginning the range selector advanced again set it to ramp up let's just set these easy high and easy low settings correctly already again set a keyframe for the offset to minus 100 uh, move on a second and set it to 100 we have a really smooth animation so again um basically this is point b where the offset is 100 and this is point a where the offset is minus 100 point a the animation is 120 the position i mean is 120 so it's 120 pixels down and the opacity is zero and then we basically want to move back to where it's not that where it's just normal uh, text preset four let's see what this was oh yeah it's a decrypt this one is a little bit harder but i'm just gonna explain it oh wait i forgot to turn on one of the animators here we go see it's basically like a flip de decrypt type of animation 
Um, I'm going to explain how that works right now. So I'm gonna go to text, click here, click on animate, and we're gonna click on skill. So this might surprise you a bit, but just believe me, we're gonna click on the skill. We're gonna untoggle this constrain uh, proportions one, and we're gonna set this one to minus 100. And basically what this does, it just flips all the text around. And then for animate, we want to uh, click on opacity. Make sure it's a different animator because we want to animate these separately because we want a slight delay between the text decrypt and the flip of the text. And we're gonna set the opacity to zero. So we're gonna go to animate. We want a different animator because we slightly want an offset between the skill animation and the rest of the animation. So we're gonna click on opacity and also click on add, not on animate but on add property. Go to character value or character offset, doesn't really matter. If we set this to three, um, opacity to zero. Wait, oh shit. Then we're gonna go to animate and we're gonna click on opacity. Then in opacity, we're gonna click on add property and go to character offset. It's really important that we have a different animator because I want, pers I personally want a slight offset between the skill animation and the, um, the rest of the animation. So we're gonna set the opacity to, uh, first we're gonna set the character offset to like three or something, and we're gonna set the opacity to zero. Basically what you do right now is you go to range selector, advanced. This time we're just gonna leave it on square. We're gonna set the start animation to 100, and then the end animation to a zero. And we're gonna keyframe the, um, well, let's move along a second, and we're gonna keyframe the end uh, to go from zero to 100. There we go, we have this right now. It turns on and slowly um, it shifts to the right uh, character value. Okay, so then we have this animation done. We're gonna go to the second animator. Okay, so right now we have this animation done. We're gonna go to the first animator again for the skill. We're gonna click on uh, range selector, of course, and then advanced. We're gonna set this to square. It's already in square, but if it's not, just set it to square. And we're going to offset, uh, the animate the offset from zero to a hundred. And if we now play this, it should automatically flip the letters and decrypt them. And there we go, you have your easy decrypt glitchy letter stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna move on to text five preset. This one is super easy, it's just a text typing animation-ish. I'm gonna go to the second text right now, click here, click on animate, and we're just gonna animate the opacity of this. We're gonna set the opacity to zero, of course, click on range selector, advance, and we're gonna click on ramp up. But the thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set the end opacity, but the thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the end of the range selector to zero right now, and then we're gonna animate the offset from zero to a hundred and as you can see you have your easy type animation so yeah i hope that i um explained the animates well to you they're super easy to create like a really nice and simple of uh, text animations i hope this tutorial wasn't too long and that you enjoyed watching this and learned something from it please like subscribe i really appreciate every comment that you guys leave it always makes me happy and motivated thanks again for 400 subscribers and we're on the road to like 1000 now so let's do it thanks everyone for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye everyone.